Hi, my name is Wayne. I am an ASE certified master technician. I have over 34 years of experience. Today, you and I are going to help to repair your car. Today we're working on a 1999 Acura Integra with a 1.8 liter dual overhead cam engine. Now our customer brought us this car with a burning smell that's coming from the front of the car and some smoke that's coming from underneath the hood. Before we diagnose the car, we want to make sure the engine has cooled down sufficiently. We're going to begin with our visual inspection. We're going to look for any obvious signs of oil leakage. And right about the top of the motor here, at the valve cover to the cylinder head joint, we have an oil leak. I suspect we have a valve cover gasket leaking. So let's continue with replacing the valve cover gasket. For today's repair, we will be using our parts cleaner, our TV sealant, our torque wrench, extension, quarter inch drive ratchet, a couple 10 millimeter sockets, our flatheads, our safety gloves, and our safety goggles. We're gonna wanna make sure that it's nice and cool before we start working on it. We're gonna pull off any vacuum hoses that might be in our way, such as the PCV tubes. And we have a ground wire over here. We're gonna pull those off. We'll pull the spark plug wires out of the valve cover the boots go down to the spark plugs, so we want to pull those out to get access. Now with the valve cover removed from the head, we can see that the gasket was leaking. There's oil that's been going through, transferring from the inside to the outside. So let's remove the gasket. And then, now we want to make sure that we replace these O-rings that are located on the center of the cover. These will keep the oil from getting down into the spark plugs, which will cause a misfire when the boots get deteriorated. To ensure we don't have a future leak, we're going to put some silicone sealer on the corner areas. This will fill up those little nooks and crannies in the corners where the camshaft covers or camshaft carriers are. Now we verify that our gasket is fully set into the cover and that our spark plug protector seals are there. We just simply put the cover on. And one thing to note is this vehicle has these rubber washers that may or may not come in a gasket kit. Now we put our insulating washers down on top. This engine has these acorn nuts on it. If yours has bolts, they may be different lengths. You have to make sure that they go in the same place they came out so that you can get the gasket and the cover torqued correctly. Now with all the nuts hand tightened, we're going to use a wrench and tighten them a little bit snugger. And once they're all snug down, we're going to use our torque wrench set to the manufacturer's specification and we're going to torque them down, but we don't want to over tighten these. Okay, you notice that we started in the beginning with torquing down the center and then we moved our way out. I like to compare that with a rock dropped into a pool of water. It makes a whirlpool effect. So we start in the center and we work our way out so we don't distort or crack the cover that would cause a future leak. Now we're going to put the spark plug wires back in, hook up all of our hoses that we disconnected, and I think we're ready for a road test. We've just returned from our road test. We don't have any more oil leaks nor burning smell. There's no smoke from under the hood. It's always a good idea to check the oil just to make sure that it's full. The dipstick is on the top, and while we're at it, it might be a good idea to use an approved engine degreaser and clean off the engine of any residual oil. This job has been professionally diagnosed 
professionally checked and professionally repaired. Good job. The keys go to you.